Because when someone says, are you thinking? You're never thinking. You're just waiting for that voice inside you to give the answer. And if that voice inside you doesn't give you the answer, what do you say? I've got nothing. Or if that voice gives you the answer, you say, wow, I don't know where that came from. Because <laughs> it came from a deeper part of yourself that you didn't know exist. Imagine if you had a better relationship with your mind and you could access that information all the time. What would you be? How would you be? And how would you participate in this thing you call life? You ask the good ones. Okay, all right. The thing is, what no one really appreciates is how um, every conversation is a guided meditation. So every time I tell you something, what I'm actually doing is changing the way that you see yourself from within yourself. Now, the way in which you actually move or do anything is that you write a program based on information that your mind has been given. So if I'm very smart, I will take you away from your history. I will take you away from your name. I will take you away from your ancestors. I will take you away from anything that can help you, strip you, and then give you another story. Education is another form of ritual. It's another form of magic. It's used to shut down the person from within themselves. So before they even think to go and attack, they, as we mentioned earlier, they're too scared. They've really been taught that they can't be found. They end up because they've got no one to attack by attacking themselves. So the war against man was always the war against his mind because if you could control his mind with your form of magic which is really your form of making uh, your form of imagination ritual education you could shut him down from within the problem that people are suffering from now is that they don't know what they look like not from the aspect of their color but their aspect of their actual individual consciousness self. So as such, if someone can give you enough information, they can shut down your own connection to your deeper and higher self. And the slavery doesn't require chains because they control how you process images in your own brain. So most people are stuck with a form of magic or imagination because this is why, this so, the, so that the designers of the world knew that they had to win that battle before they actually had to throw any weapons or throw anything at anyone. Yeah, have you ever wondered why the holy wars, none of the religions claimed the actual countries? But what they did was allow their religion to be taught to the children of those countries. Because the aim was always to control the education. If you control how the children believe, you will control what the God they believe in, and then the dictates of that God is how they're going to live their lives. So the war was always won mentally, and it's still won mentally today. So spirituality is where when someone says they're woke, they think for themselves. They no longer operate within the confines of someone else. Yeah, when they say, I am me, or I am I, or I am we, they're speaking with an internal understanding, not an external agreement. Not with, oh yes, we have to do it according to this religion, that religion, that story, this thing. None of those things are relevant. Once you get into your deeper self, your ancestors will come and they will give you the guidance as they've always done throughout your whole life. Is someone intelligent or able to receive better information from within themselves? Because when someone says, are you thinking? You're never thinking, you're just waiting for that voice inside you to give the answer. And if that voice inside you doesn't give you the answer, what do you say? I've 
got nothing. Or if that voice gives you the answer, you say, wow, I don't know where that came from. Because <laughs> it came from a deeper part of yourself that you didn't know exist. Imagine if you had a better relationship with your mind and you could access that information all the time. What would you be? How would you be? And how would you participate in this thing you call life? First, you have to explain the concept of time and the concept of traveling through time yeah. and the concept of the deeper you understand yourself at a spiritual level, you understand that all your past lives are part of you. So a thousand years into the future or a thousand years into the past, all you're operating in is a dimension as it exists right now. So therefore, the concept of the future can only ever be your imagination. The concept of the past beyond before you were born can only be your imagination. The biggest trick is all of us are just born into a story and then we've been told this is what the past looked like. That's what the future is going to look like. Are any of those things true? No, we can't prove any of them. And even if they show images, we can only just trust the stories that are attached to that image. The fact is, the future is now. The past is now. The only thing you can ever think of or be experiencing is now. Would the world be better in so many years? The world will be absolutely fine. You're asking, is the story going to be better? And the people that are creating the story are they going to design it in a better way? And the truth is, who knows? But the fact is, when you come back in that incarnation, you would know before you get here. Because none of us arrives here by accident. Can you imagine you came so far and you didn't know why you came? Or is it a case when you came when you were young and everyone had to do a mind clean slate so that whatever intentions you came from, well, that's not what we want. <laughs> we want you to do this and do that and be this and be that. And forget why you came and just do things the way we say. If you met the higher intelligence, mm -hmm. what question would you ask? <laughs> oh God, you ask these questions. Okay, I only laugh because the answer exists. You have within you a council of older versions of yourself. They're the ones that know what mistakes you've made in previous lives. They're the ones that know why you've come and what you've come here to do. So if you sat down with the counsels of the older versions of yourself, they would just explain who and what you are and what you're truly capable of. The problem is, it's like we don't appreciate, we've squeezed ourselves to fit into the consciousness of this story. And what we're really capable of, even in the operation of our body, is a miracle that science hasn't been able to recreate. So when I've been there, because I say I've been there, I'm older than that, where you've gone beyond the creation of yourself and you found yourself before the time that you was a body and taking yourself to the time when you was a spark and seeing that all of us really exist as intelligent energy and we evolve over many lifetimes to be able to control more complicated biological beings. So all you find is your body now is one of the more complicated machines that one has to run in this dimension. The life of an ant is very interesting but you don't need the biggest brain in the world to be able to comprehend that. But over times, thousands, millions of years on this dimension you learn how to operate more complex biological beings. The higher versions of yourself just let you know that once upon a time, you had it all. Once upon a time, you gave it all away. <laughs> now you're in the process of either reclaiming it or creating more problems for yourself. You can tell a younger soul they picked a life where they had nothing to do and everything was provided for them. The more complicated older soul, like when you're playing an arcade game, 
you always challenge yourself by giving yourself more perilous situations, less lives, less this, more restrictions, because you know that the more skilled you are, the more you can cope with a harder story. So people, don't be in distress, don't be worried that your life apparently appears hard. It's not that your life is hard, it's that your story is not in your control and your story is beyond you and you're trying to fix your story emotionally, not mentally. So when you come to that understanding that as a spirit, as a being, as an intelligence, you have infinite understanding of everything and everyone inside you, your life can be a total different thing. And what you call pain, you realize is just your way of creating an emotion for the things that you can't explain.